Hey everybody, Jeff Arsman here. Well, we're on to episode 11 for season 3 of Star vs. the Force of Evil. Stranger Danger? Stranger Danger. Yeah, it's the stranger who's in danger. Let's be honest here, it's Star. Ugh, the stranger's the one in danger. It's like, you know those um, uh, Facebook posts which is the whole, What did your kidnap kidnappers write? Yeah, this is basically the Star vs. the Force of Evil version of that. That's my prediction. Let's dive on in and see what we got. Ready, Glasser? Here goes the airplane! Frogdor! Frogdor! Come on, Glasser! Be a good boy! <laughs> Water it! What have I told you? We express ourselves with our words, not our pudding. Are we going to have to go back into the diaper? Because I will do it! Let go! Uh-oh! He's chasing the unicorn squirrel! Uh-huh. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry about your roses. He just... Oh, don't worry. We're just flowers. Hello! It's not like there's something really cool. Oh, like a squirrel acorn. Isn't that right? Glob door! Glob door! Glob door! Glob door! How did you do that in Teacher Two? <laughs> <laughs> he just looked like he needed a little head scratch. Oh, you know, once in a while we've got to slow down and appreciate the feeling of a nice head scratch. Or the smell of a freshly bloomed rose. Or the taste of a delicious candy bar. <laughs> she is really mm -hmm. scarfing those down. I might have some self-control issues. <laughs> Just a touch. Yeah, me too. You seem so familiar. We've met before, right? Maybe. I used to visit this garden a lot. Oh, oh. Have you been to the Rose Tower? The view of the garden is absolutely divine. Oh, no, 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 no. That's been condemned for forever. Well, don't let that stop you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're around tonight, you should come to the royal dinner. Oh, that sounds delightful. I may have other plans. Aww. You got a hat date? Something like that. Hello! Star! Hello! Please, Rexus! Star! Are you okay? Did she hurt you? What? No, no one hurt me. I was just talking to that nice lady. Nice lady? Star! That's Eclipsa. Oh, don't I know speak, Moon? <laughs> How did that spell work out for you? Not another word out of you, Eclipsa! That's Eclipsa! <gasps> we need to decontaminate you. Decontaminate? Ah, look into the light, please. What? Uh, to check for spots of evil. Spots of evil? <gasps> well, there's no telling what Eclipsa might have done to you. Stop it! I'm telling you, Eclipsa didn't do anything to me! I am fine! What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Throw your left eye with the paddle and read the lines as best you can. I A M E V I. No, you don't. That just spells I am evil. That was like totally an admission. What? No, I was not. This is rigged. I was reading the thing. Skin check. Oh dear. Have you always had this though? Yes, but it doesn't make me evil. Just a little self-conscious sometimes. Oh, oh, is there a <laughs> evil please? Evil please. Evil please. <laughs> he found something. Never mind. He says they're just regular fleas. I knew that. Stand here. Arms down. Big deal. Okay, fine. But why? So she betrayed her kingdom. She abandoned her people so she could run off with a monster. Mm hmm. Yes, right. I knew that. Kind of selfish. Okay, then what? She blew everything up. No. They crystallized her before she had the chance. Wait, 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 wait. You crystallized her for being in love to a monster. And that's not all. She didn't respect the natural order. She meddled in the dark arts and created her own dangerous <laughs> <laughs> evil magic. Have you ever even read it? Of course not. 
Well, I have, and it really wasn't that big of a deal. Ugh. Chime in any time, boys. You knew it too. Uh, I mean, I saw her double dipping in the ranch at the Royal Ball once. She told me she thought Romulus was annoying. Can you believe it? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, she totally used to eat babies! No, no, that wasn't Eclipsa. That was Bobipsa, the barbarian baby eater. Are you calling me a liar? I'm pretty sure Eclipsa was a pescatarian. Okay, guys. As fascinating and fact-filled as this conversation is, I'm feeling kind of done. The tests say I'm fine. Stop, please. These tests are for your own good. Uh, I am good. And it sounds like Eclipsa didn't deserve to be crystallized. I mean, what's next? You gonna crystallize me if I do something you don't approve of? Give us the room. Ooh. I trusted her too. I didn't know any better. Truthfully, Star, you're very capable for your age, but then why won't anyone listen to me? It's complicated. Eclipsa can be very convincing. For your safety, let me handle this. So what are you gonna do? I'm afraid the only option is immediate recrystallization. What? No, 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 no. That's so harsh. You can't just go crystal. This isn't a debate, Star. I gave my orders to the Magic High Commission, and they're on their way to her cell as we speak. She's to be recrystallized immediately. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Check it up on the what? wand as well. Lazarek! 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 Ugh! Wand! Glavgore! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Nice, but she can get into your head and make you do things you don't want to do. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Goodness, you're right. Giving you that spell to destroy Toffee was her idea. Oh, no, wait. You were the one who went to her for help. Uh, yes, but... And you made a deal with her. When Toffee was destroyed, she'd be set free. Well, hey, Toffee's gone. And you want to go back on your word? But Star, look what her spell did to me. Yeah. When I performed... What that, you I did yourself. The darkness. Eclipsa is evil, Star. I know you don't believe it now, but if you wait to find out the truth for yourself, it'll be too late. Okay, fine. If she is as bad as you say she is, then put her in a crystal. But she at least deserves to have a fair trial. Oh, for goodness sake, fine. We'll have a trial. Yes! Do process, do process. But I'm only allowing this because I want there to be no doubt amongst anyone in Muni. I'm looking at you, Star. <laughs> but Eclipsa is evil and deserves her fate. See, Eclipsa? Around here, we believe in a little thing called the justice system. Hey, where are you going? Well, it's going to take a little time to get the trial all set up. What? No, you can't just leave her chained up in this dark, smelly dungeon. You know, I always did enjoy gazing at the roses. <laughs> oh, hello, Princess Butterfly. Stand aside. Did you or did you not mess with dark magic? Well, I did what I had to do for me. The magic high commission and your mother think that's evil. Call me a villainess. Wait. <sighs> Kingdom Hearts would have a field day with this. Oh, definitely not. But if I were, I wouldn't tell you. That's a joke. Oh, it wasn't very funny. But that's okay, because... 
Labgore? Labgore! Oh, sorry. Oh, good to see you. Labgore! He's, uh, he's been kind of a handful lately. <laughs> Could you maybe do that little crystally tickly thing again? Are you sure? Labgore, Labgore, I might corrupt him. What? <laughs> that was another joke! <laughs> Labgore? Oh, they're so sweet when they're sleeping. Okay, listen. Just because I didn't want you crystallized again doesn't mean I trust you. I just want you to be treated fairly. Although this place doesn't exactly seem fair. What in the road is that? <laughs> well, I love it here. Actually, this was my room, you know, back in the... No. Yeah, before. A lot has changed, but the most important thing is still the same. That is a nice view. Oh, this view is incredible, isn't it? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's gonna take a few goes. But yeah, that was Stranger Danger. And we get to see Eclipsa make a return. Hm. Oh yeah, like I said, Kingdom Hearts would have a field day with that. I mean. Denizens of light, answer this. Why do you hate the darkness? Ha, huh, we don't hate it. It's just kind of scary. But the world's made of light and darkness. You can't have one without the other, because darkness is half of everything. Sort of makes you wonder why we are scared of the dark. It's because of who's lurking inside it. Yeah, that. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2 kind of sums it up quite nicely there. Oh, God. Now I'm kind of hoping this pops up in Game of Hearts 3 as a world we get to visit. Oh. That would be so awesome! <laughs> but, yeah. Talking about the episode itself, uh, should... Kind of interesting to see how everything goes. I mean, they all agree on the fact that Eclipsa dated a monster. But that and made some dark magic, but that is about the extent of what they actually know as her crimes. I mean, falling in love with a monster. I mean, can Queen Moon even consider that to be a crime at this point? I mean, she kind of enjoyed hanging out with Big with Butt Frog. She enjoyed hanging out with him when they were doing the whole, you know, hiding from Ludo thing. So. Plus, what are the others? I mean, like, they're def I mean, you're not trying to argue that Romulus and the High Commission, that most of the High Commission, you're not trying to argue most of them are humans or even mumans, are you? I mean, what constitutes monster in this world? Seriously, you seem to be kind of very vague on what actually classes as them, really. I mean, you got demons, you got whatever pigeon boy from last episode was. And, I mean, seriously, you got the aquatic guys, the aquatic people as well. I mean, would they not be classed as monsters in uni society? Or, again, it's very vague with what they class as one thing and what is the other. It's kind of interesting. Or it could just be them kind of forgetting those parts of the storyline. Who knows? Jaffa Archfiend, out.